Hey, what's up everybody? Steven here, SRAW. So today I have the review of the Panasonic SC BT200. Um, it's a review slash overview because I'm showing you everything it can do and I'm also um, telling you what I think about it. So review slash overview. Um, so let me get oh, right into what it is. It is a Blu-ray player and it came with a 7.1 surround sound. So uh, it plays HD DVDs and it plays regular DVDs as well. It also has an iPod dock, SD card slot, uh, it's a radio, AM and FM. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to show you the main unit. I'm going to show you uh, all the speakers and where I set them up. And then I'll tell you what I think about it. So let's get right into this. Alright, so here we have the main unit. Um, this is pretty much where you control everything. Well, actually you control everything from the remote. But um, this is where everything gets together. So here we have the power button right there. And we have the open and close button for the disk drive. Here we have the iPod dock, and I'll just show you really quick. Goes in like that. Okay, here we have a smart setup button. That's to set up all the speakers and just to make sure you have them in the right place. We have a stop button and a play button. Here we have the volume knob. And if we go down here, there's this little latch thing. Here we have the SD card slot, the setup mic. So, yeah, um, it's that's the setup mic. It also goes with the smart setup. That's what you use that for. Here we have the selector. That's so um, you can use these buttons to select thing to select things, because these buttons use to tune the radio. So um, yeah, there. So that's pretty much the front um, of the main unit. Alright, so here we have the back of the main unit. Here, I don't know what this is, but it sticks out and yeah. Um, don't really know what it is. Here, so this thing and this thing. This is used for the antenna for the AM radio. I do not have it set up right now because I do not listen to AM radio. Um, I don't know if much people do, but... That's what that's for. Here is the FM radio antenna. It's really nothing much. It's just a string. Um, let me show you guys. This is the antenna. Right there. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. Right here, we have the uh, optical in ports. So that's if you want the audio from the TV to go through the surround sound speakers. Uh, here we have the video out, that yellow one. And then these three, we have the red, the blue, and the green one. That's for the component out. Um, here we have the audio cables, the auxiliary. Uh, I know this is supposed to be white, but it's yellow. So here is the HDMI cable. There's only one HDMI plug. Um, right here for the power, here we have a fan, and here we have the plugs for all the speakers. Uh, we have the two back, the two for the middle, the two for the front, the one center, and this purple one here is the subwoofer. So that's pretty much the back of that. Um, now I'm going to show you all where my speakers are. Alright, so here we have the main unit, and right above that is the center speaker right there right next to that is the front right speaker on this side we have the front left speaker right there we have the surround uh, left speaker right there we have the surround back left speaker we have the back um, right speaker here we have the uh, surround right speaker so that's in the middle and then we are back to the um, front right speaker and then right down there that box that is the subwoofer all right so the Panasonic SC BT200 is a full 1080p blu-ray disc player 
It plays high definition DVDs and regular DVDs. Uh, it has an iPod dock and an SD card slot with 7.1 surround sound. Uh, I know I said this already, but I'm saying it again just to clarify. So the quality of when you're watching Blu-ray discs is amazing. I mean, I felt like I was in the movies, or like in the movie. Uh, I felt like I was in the movie. It, the bright, vibrant colors, it's really, um, really, really good quality. Uh, the sound quality is really, really good. When I was watching Quarantine, um, throughout the whole movie, there's, well, not the whole movie, but most of the movie, there's a helicopter circling the building. And it's really cool how they use that with the surround sound. They made the helicopter go all the way around the room, and it I, I literally thought there was a helicopter outside my house. Um, it's The quality of the sound is amazing. The speakers are just great. Um, now, with the iPod dock, um, it goes, it just sticks in the front, and then you, here, here's the remote. There is an iPod button. I know you can't see that, but there's an iPod button. You click it, and it shows your iPod menu on the screen. It'll say music, playlist, artist, and all that, all that stuff. You use the remote to select the song you want. And it'll also play the videos from your iPod if um, your iPod is able to play videos. It'll also play the photos as well. Now, uh, with the SD card slot, um, I didn't really use it. Um, but there is some things you can use the SD card slot with. If you hook your Panasonic SCBT200 into the uh, internet with the Ethernet cable, uh, and there's something called Blu-ray Disc Live, and it's so you can go online, you can watch um, other people's reviews um, right from your main unit. Uh, you can watch um, people record themselves while watching the movie, and they talk about the movie while watching it. So that's really cool. I have not hooked it up to the internet yet, but I will be soon. We just need a really long Ethernet cable. but So that's something you can do, and with the SD card slot, you can store things on there. You need like firmware upgrades, and I honestly I forget what you put on there, but um, there is a purpose. So I'm eventually going to need to get a SD card mainly, or only for that. So I'm just going to need it for that. Now, some things that I don't like about it, there is one thing. I don't know if it's only for this, for this um, particular system, because I've never owned a Blu-ray thing before. I've never used one, really. Uh, it takes a while to start up. You press on and it says please wait on the main unit for, not for a really long time, but I mean, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Then finally you get the screen to come on and then it takes a while to read the discs. So it does, that's something that I don't really like about it. It takes a long time for you to get right to a movie. It um, takes a long time to load. But then again, I can see why because the quality is just so high and with the um, sound quality as well it takes a lot to load but it shouldn't take that long so that's that's mainly the only thing I don't like about it there's really nothing else that's really all I have to say about this there's really nothing else I could talk about other than it's really good um, the way it goes with the iPod when you plug it in how it shows your whole iPod um, screen on your TV screen is really cool um, of course it uses all the songs with the surround sound um, it's pretty customizable, I mean, with the way you could set uh, volume for each individual speaker is really cool. Um, there's a lot of effects you could do with it, like whisper mode is one of them. Um, I honestly don't really know whisper mode. I haven't used any of the effects yet, but I will be soon. So, um, I haven't, I haven't seen any high definition DVDs, you know, HD, HD DVD. I haven't seen any yet on this. But I have played a regular DVD, and it even said on the box that, or in the manual, I think it was, that with regular DVDs, it boosts the quality. So, um, it did. I mean, the quality looked amazing. And the surround sound works with anything you put in there with your SD card, with your iPod, with your DVD, HD DVD, Blu-ray discs, anything really. So, yeah, there's really nothing else I could say and that it's really good. I couldn't find any other reviews on YouTube. I'm pretty much... I mean, when I searched, I couldn't find an unboxing, a review, anything on it. So everyone, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash slash sraydw. Uh, also, sign up with my Swagbucks referral link. Peace.